huge birds up here that might think my thing is a... What the f***? Uh oh. So this video is all going to be about that sort of maximal effort of training, the maximal high intensity stuff that you do. You can basically almost reach your max heart rate in sort of that sort of 30, 45 second zone. Because I realized a little light bulb went off in my head when I was listening to um, an Andrew Huberman podcast, which I'd highly recommend. He's talking to Dr. Andy Galpin. Dr. Andy Galpin, that's Andrew Huberman. And that's actually Dr. Andy Galpin, who I've heard about before. But a little light bulb went off in my head yesterday when I was listening to the, the, basically their conversation and I realized that I don't do enough of the really super maximal stuff in the training where you get your heart right out because there's a lot of adaptations to be made from that training for your cardiovascular system. And that's where things really do step up to the next level. I do a lot of a lot of base work, a lot of that sort of nice aerobic stuff. I do a lot of the middle ground stuff that, you know, where it's your threshold training, where you're sort of doing more, you know, four, you know, three, four minutes of hard stuff but very rarely do I do the sort of the maximal efforts of 30 seconds. So this video is going to be about that and I'm about to go to the gym just over there and do rowers, uh, rowers and do rowing and some battle ropes, that sort of stuff. Uh, and that's what, I'm going to, that's what I'm going to warm up for about 10 minutes and that's what I'm going to do and then I'm going to do some other sort of accessory stuff afterwards. So actually probably no running at all, but more about just pushing that cardiovascular system right up to the max to get a good bang for your buck and a good stimulus but I will talk more about in detail about all that later so I've only got about a 45 minute window now so I'm going to get that done and then talk about it later um, yeah that's it <laughs> So full disclosure here, the exercises, although they are brilliant exercises, the batting ropes and the rower, they didn't actually do what I wanted to do. My goal was to get to that max heart rate and I kind of wasn't nowhere near. Although the batting ropes are awesome and they hit every single muscle in the body pretty much, deltoids, traps, rhomboids, lats, hamstrings, glutes with that triple extension and even pectorals as well with that sort of that abduction, adduction of the arms, it is a brilliant exercise, as is the rowing, they didn't do what I wanted to do, get the heart rate right up close to that maximal effort, or really pretty much touching max heart rate. So yeah, I will talk about that in one second. Just gotta get up this hill. Okay, so what's the point of doing those maximal efforts? There's a, lots of good reasons. Uh, oh, hang on, there's some huge birds up here that might think my thing is a, what the? Uh-oh. She thinks my dead cat is literally a dead cat. What's going on? Whew, right, let's go back to, uh, what I was talking about there before those birds started to come down and attack the fluffy dead cat on top of the camera. What does it do and what's the point of doing it? Uh, basically training at those maximal efforts will definitely stress your cardiovascular, cardiovascular system loads and that stress causes your cardiovascular system to have a great well, adaptation, it has to adapt to that stress. So it'll also create, uh, make your heart stronger obviously so it increases the amount of stroke blood volume that's coming out per stroke. It will definitely increase your lung capacity, make your lungs bigger and stronger when you really exert yourself at those high, high, super high intensities. It also goes, yeah, it also increases your, your mitochondria, your, you know, you know, the actual the energy blocks, it will help with that. 
And that's only just to name a few of the benefits. But I think the rewards of the reward of doing those high intensity efforts are just really, really good, really crucial and really vital for the body. Uh, as I said, to create that adaptation for the lungs, for the heart. Uh, and the good thing is that you only have to do it once a week. The bad thing is, I suppose, is that actually you've really got to muster up some serious sort of mental fortitude to, to give it all you've got because it has to be all out. Because what I just did then on the rower and the treadmill, oh, sorry, on the rower and the, the uh, batting ropes, it wasn't enough, it wasn't all out. And I could comfortably do that for a minute or so. Still tough but not enough to get up. So I then, just after that, four hours later, I got on the treadmill and did some sprints hard, got going, not even sprints, I just ran until it went up there. And then I sort of stayed around there and then I actually ended up doing a 5K run in around about 19 minutes, um, which is quite nice. So that's a little bonus. I would definitely advise to warm up loads. You need a good 15, almost 20 minutes warm up and then just go all out for that 30 seconds to get your heart rate right up. Um, if you've got time to do more, great, do, you know, and if you're fit enough, and if you're well enough, and if you're healthy enough to do, to do more, then do more. But, uh, so, you know, some say even just once a week is, is, is enough, as long as you're getting the rest of the week filled up with the other good work, the threshold stuff, the training, and then your sort of aerobic based stuff. Um, you're just, just, just running, moving, walking, cycling, rowing, whatever it is. But that's just the cardiovascular system. There's obviously strength stuff you need to get in there as well, but that's a different subject. Right, it's got hot. Okay, so yeah, I would say if you do do with that, if you do do these maximal efforts with running, I would you find a sort of a gentle slope and run uphill because it takes less time to recover from the, those the hill sprints because there's not so much eccentric motion, eccentric impact on the joints and the muscles. Uh, the downhill stuff will just thrash you, even flat. Uphill's great because it gets your glutes and hamstrings more. But anyway, that's a different thing. Right, I hope that helps. Um, let me know what you guys do for your sort of those high intensity intervals and those super maximal efforts, whether it's burpees, squat jumps, kettlebells, whether it's rowing, sprinting, cycling, whatever it is, leave the comments below. Um, and yeah, I'll be keen to see some other interesting ideas because it's quite hard to get that heart rate jacked up quickly um, and sort of just get his efforts in. But anywho, right. That's it, I'm gonna leave it there. Please click that like and subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Um, not much more to sort of say. Ooh, still bright and hot. Right, that's it, I'm out. <laughs>